Today I'm going to talk about the top 5 fixed deposit rates I managed to find in January 2023 and if you're someone who's new to the world of finance and not sure what a fixed deposit is, basically you put a sum of money with a bank for a fixed period of time and you get a fixed return that is guaranteed and this is not to be confused with structured deposit which is a very different thing. A fixed deposit is relatively low risk, the only risk is if the bank collapses and even then it is insured to a certain amount. So if you put $10,000 with a bank for 12 months and they specify 3% per annum interest, you can expect to get back your capital as well as the return guaranteed if you can hold it to the maturity which is 12 months later. Now if you change your mind and want to cancel your fixed deposit, you can also do so and usually you only lose the interest or get a very low prorated interest. So your capital is also guaranteed. In fact, fixed deposits tend to be associated with older and more risk conservative people and younger people and uh, more risk-seeking individuals tend not to invest in fixed deposits, much less talk about it on YouTube. However, rates can be as good as 4.28% per annum. And therefore, here are some of the best rates I managed to find in the month of January 2023. And you can consider these options if you want to put some excess funds for around 12 months. The first option you can consider is CIMB, which allows you to deposit from as low as $1,000 and you can also choose from a range of tenures ranging from 6 to 18 months. Now the 18 and the 12 month fixed deposit gives you 4.15% if you do it online and if you're a preferred uh, or priority uh, banking customer with CIMB, you can get 0.05% extra making a grand total of 4.20% per annum returns. Even the shorter tenure ones are pretty attractive at 3.95% for the 6 month one and 4.05% for the 9 month fixed deposit with CIMB and therefore you don't have 12 months to set aside your funds, you can choose these options. I think around 4% is a pretty good rate for locking up your money for these number of months. This rate is until 31st January 2023 and I think there's some expectation that rates will go down slightly next month. Uh, I have no crystal ball again but I think from what I've been hearing is that there's just too much funds in the market uh, going after all these attractive fixed deposit rates. So I think banks will adjust accordingly. Uh, so we'll see when February comes along. Now quick pause here, I have to play the YouTube game and do me a favor by pressing the like button, right? Multiple times, no actually one time is enough. All right, thanks for pressing the like button and back to the video. The next on my list is SIF Bank, which is Sing Investments and Finance Limited. Right, uh, if you have not heard of it, you are not alone. Okay, but apparently it's giving a very attractive rate of 4.18% per annum interest for a 12-month fixed deposit. And due to overwhelming response, they are actually going to end it on 27th January 2023. So uh, if you're watching this on the 25th or 26th, okay, you better hurry. If you want timely updates, subscribe to my Telegram group where I post about saving stuff, SSB, credit card deals, etc. So join my Telegram group if you want timely updates. The minimum deposit is $20,000 and if you do it online, you actually get a $10 cash credit for every $20,000 you put. So that's actually a pretty good deal because extra returns on top of the 4.18% rate. Uh, the catch is that you need to have a gold savers account with them. So you need to open a banking account with them and then use their app to uh, open the fixed deposit account. So you have until 27th January, that's the last day for this promotion. If you go to their branch, for every $80,000, you also get Ang Pao. So you have to choose right between $10 or Ang Pao. And actually $80,000, you can get $40 worth of cash credit. So uh, I think I'll take the cash credit. Now there's a way to get guaranteed US $150 worth of goodies when you sign up for Weibo with the link shown on the screen now and accomplish a few easy steps. Now this is the most generous sign up gift that Weibo has offered and you get a great trading app with very low fees. In fact, zero commission for US stock trading. And you can do things like buy stocks, buy options, and even subscribe to mutual funds, which is a new feature that they just introduced. Whether you're new to investing or have been doing it for some time, Weibo has something for everyone and it includes my favorite feature of fractional trading where you can buy stocks from as low as US $5 per trade and other great features. So check out my link for more details and sign up today before the promo runs out. Thanks for signing up and keeping this channel going and thanks to Weibo for sponsoring my video. The third option I have for you is RHB Bank which is giving 4.1% per annum interest for their 12 months and 24 months fixed deposits. The minimum placement is $20,000 and you need to also have an RHB banking account in order to use their app to open your fixed deposit account. 
Now, RHB Bank has another promo which gives you 4.28% per annum interest if you go to their new branch at Cecil Street and open at least $20,000 of fixed deposit for 12 months. Now, of course, this is a little bit more troublesome than opening your account online, but if you work near there, I guess you could go there during your lunch break. I'm not sure how the queues will be like, but you have until 31st January to do this and make sure that if they try to cross-sell you other products like insurance or anything, which I think they would because they have some insurance uh, promo, right? Just remember what I say about buying financial products at bank branches. Try not to do it. Now, if you don't feel safe putting money into banks you have hardly heard of before, you can consider OCBC, which is offering 4.08% per annum interest, slightly lower than other banks, but if it helps you sleep better at night, I think it's worth considering. This is only open to OCBC 360 account holders, so you do need to open the 360 account first if you don't already have one. And this rate is for 7 months. 8 months. <laughs> if you don't want a 360 account, the rates are only 3.88% per annum interest. And these rates are only for 8 months, so not 12 months like the other banks I mentioned. OCBC's promo ends on the 28th February 2023, but they do have the option to end it early if they wish to. Last on my list, if you want a familiar name, is HSBC's fixed deposit rates and they are giving 4% per annum interest if you can put your funds for 7 months and if you want a shorter term fixed deposit, 3 months for 3.85% per annum interest. I think it's not too bad. Uh, most of the other fixed deposits are at least 6 months and up. So if you want something really short term, this is something you can consider. And again, HSBC is a familiar name, so you shouldn't lose sleep putting your money here. And you need a minimum of $30,000 for HSBC's fixed deposit rates. Like most other banks' fixed deposit rates, this rate is scheduled to end on 31st January 2023. And again, we are not sure what next month holds, so subscribe to my Telegram group for updates on that. Now, in the event a bank collapses in Singapore, your savings with the bank are actually insured up to $75,000, and this is on a per-bank basis. Meaning to say, if you have $150,000 and you want to sleep better at night, you should consider splitting your funds into $75,000 into Bank A and then $75,000 into Bank B to receive the maximum insurance coverage for your savings. And therefore, it makes sense for you to go and take out multiple accounts if your sum of money is larger. So perhaps RHB now gives you the best rate, but it makes sense for you to give them only $75,000 of your savings and then take the other $75,000 and put in some place like CIMB or any other bank that you prefer. So pro tip of the day, split up large amounts if you want to have more insurance coverage in the unlikely event a bank collapses. Now a natural question might be, which is better, T-bills or fixed deposit? And I intend to do a full comparison on it soon. So subscribe to my Telegram group if you want updates on that. Also, I maintain a savings page where I list out all the interesting saving instruments you can look at to get higher you on your savings. So go to satisfy.com slash savings for that. Now if you like my content, do drop me a like, it really helps the channel a lot, right? And tap here to see a video on the one year T-bill that I just did recently. And here is where I will put the video of my comparison between T-bills and fixed deposits. See you in those videos.